what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Breezy. Everything easy, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm back with another video. And you already know me, man. I'm out here just trying to promote black business, black excellence, uh, uh, anything for the culture, you know what I'm saying? Because I feel like we're not doing it for ourselves, so I feel like my mission is to show the world that, you know, we're looking out for people, you know? So we have a guest today. State your name, boss? Derek Walalom Johnson. Okay. So, Derek right here is a, is a painter, right? Full That's time. right. Yeah, full time now. Okay. So, tell me a little about, before we get into the painting, tell me a little about like your, your how you became a painter like before the even started. Like what was your past uh, 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 careers or anything, you know, from what okay. you Oh, uh, actually, um, I'm a fully fledged uh, broadcaster. Okay. Trained broadcaster, I mean broadcast journalist. I've been on the channels, a uh, few channels in Ghana, uh, such as uh, Viasat One, uh, Joy News, Multimedia's Joy News, uh, both on radio and on TV. And of course, the, the last place that I worked in before I took up the art full time was uh, um, Star FM 103.5. So, like, were you very creative, like, as a child? Like, were you painting as a child? Or you just, it just spurred a moment type of thing? turn to certain age and know I want to paint now. Okay, <laughs> so I'd say that um, I am an artist from infancy. Okay. Yes, and even during my secondary school era, yeah. I, I pursued visual arts. Okay. But uh, when I graduated from... Uh, visual arts, like acting? Yes, okay, yeah. visual arts, yeah. yeah. So okay. that, that's the course I offered when I was in the oh, senior okay. secondary school. Uh, but uh, after some time, I just opted into media. Okay. And to be honest with you, I, I was enjoying media though, but yeah. that fulfillment was not there. Okay. Yeah, the fulfillment. Yeah. There, there was something that was not there and yeah. couldn't figure it out. And to tell you the truth, uh, even when I was um, studying for journalism, yeah. <laughs> I had a mail from a woman I do not know from Adam and according to her I have been given a gift okay. which will make me but I left that gift so it is incumbent on me to go to or go back to that gift because okay. that is what is going to make me yeah and I figured out that must be art but I love media to be honest okay. I was enjoying it but the fulfillment was just not there but um, even that, I couldn't get into art full time then. Even part time, I couldn't do it. Yeah. Yes. Radio. Yes. So I was doing radio, radio and TV because I mean the passion is there though. Yeah. But um, I think it was 2013 that I've decided to uh, opt for uh, visual arts or back to art, and it was difficult to be honest. At that time, I couldn't. Uh, paint or draw and yeah. do anything, even though I kind of uh, offered few courses in art just yeah. to brighten up, you know, but it was tough for me. I couldn't really, no, it, it was just not there. Yeah, like honestly, starting anything is not easy, yes. you know what I'm saying? Like, yes. You really got to take time, you really got to have the right mindset, you really got to be dedicated, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, since the transition, you would say like, is, is, is painting really your passion? Yes. What, yes. Like, what, what, what gave you that, that, you know, like, I'm gonna do it 100%, nothing else. Like, what, you woke up one morning and it's like, no, I'm gonna do it, or like, what was the... Okay, so like I was saying, I, I was doing well in the media. Yeah. I mean, but uh, bottom line, that fulfillment, the word is fulfillment. fulfillment. I am okay. getting it. Gotcha. It's just not there. Okay. Yeah. To be honest with you, when I got into art, it's been tough. Yeah. Even you can go uh, through six months, seven months, yeah. even a year without making right. anything. Yeah. But uh, how you're still kicking is amazing. Mm -hmm. Yes. Knowing that I'm able to create something like yeah. this. Okay. This, I didn't look onto any picture. Okay. This is from my head. Oh, really? This is imaginative. Yeah. Yes. Wow. Uh, yes. This is imaginative. I'm just looking at, I mean, ladies yeah. in general. And I started this way 2015. And yeah, as of now, I still yeah. haven't finished it. It, look, it looks finished. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's no, it's no, what do you mean? Like, you're going to put more in the black? Like, I'm 
what else do you have to <laughs> okay add? so you're there sometimes and then the inspiration comes i think when you uh, do this yeah. to this i think it would turn out this way okay. uh, yeah so that's it it's about inspiration i have works that i've been working on since 2013 when i opted for being wow. an artist yes and these are abstract works gotcha okay. yes like with me like i'm very creative but i don't think i have patience to do wait like five six years to finish a project yeah like i'll have to finish it within a month it's true. You know what I'm saying? It's like, true. <laughs> okay, so there are yeah. some that uh, you can finish within a week, yeah. or even within a day. Yeah, I do have some sketches that I just put there, and they are there. They are finished. I mean, yeah. anybody can opt to have them. Okay. Yes, but uh, like I was saying, these I started back 2015. But you there, you look at it, you feel like there's something you can add again, okay. and um, the, this uh, this one right here. I mean, um, it was something I started uh, a thing that was 2020. Yes, yeah, so th th this very oh, this one, one, yes, okay. th this very yeah. one. It was actually something I started 20, 20, 2020 yeah. when I've decided to try oils. Okay. You know, when COVID came and yeah. there was lockdown, yeah. I thought to myself, what can I do different? Because I am noted for doing pen on canvas. Yeah. Yes, you see most of that in the I um, mean on my um, pages. Okay. Yes, but this, so <laughs> it was a documentary I was watching, okay. and I've decided to capture a little girl yeah. in a an, in an old swivel, and the swivel is old. Yeah. But looking at how comfortable she is napping in there, yeah. it tells you that something that does not work for you, it's someone's dream. Correct. Yes. So, what is the meaning of the bird here? It's okay. Dove. Yes, it's, it's a dove. dove. Yeah. yeah. So, see how peacefully she is Correct. napping. Yeah. And I'm just trying to say that there is peace around her. Okay. Even though you, the owner of that swivel chair that you've thrown away, yeah. I mean, you've thrown it away, but she's got all the luxury and all the Correct. comfort in yeah. there. Yes. I feel like it also saying like one's trash, another man's treasure, right? <laughs> yes, you of know? course. Yeah. <laughs> Someone's meat is another man's poison. Correct. Yes, you know? yes. And um, I've decided to, I mean, use the colors of Ghana because this yeah. is not a picture I actually saw. Correct. I mean, when I was watching the documentary. Okay. Um, I've decided to um, go Ghanaian colors because uh, yeah. I actually made this to be part of a competition that was held in Italy. Uh, uh, last year, uh, 2021, Yika, yeah. Yika competition. And so this is what I used, even though I didn't get it, but uh, yeah. it had a good standing. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I've decided to use the flag of Ghana, uh, the yeah. colors of Ghana, red, gold, yeah. green. And then um, I cross symbol on this booklet. Uh, that, that symbol signifies a God child. Really? Yeah, child of God. It must be a star or something. Yes, it looks like a star. Oh, okay. But uh, it means God's child or okay. Nyamiba. Nyamiba. In, nyamiba. In, in, yeah, Nyamiba. Nyamiba. Nya, nyami. Nyami nyamiba. is God. Nyamiba. nyamiba like oh, okay. God's child. God's child. Okay. Yeah. So, and I put the, uh, the shoots yeah. there on the staff of the swivel okay. just to signify that even though it's been there for old, I yeah. mean for long, um, it still has life in it because mm. the little girl is enjoying it. Mean, and yeah. um, this doll right here that she's carrying, yeah. see she's carrying a doll. Mm. Yes, we call it in the local parlance here, a yeah. um, doll amongst the Akans. But amongst the Evers where I hailed, okay. we call it a metipakwe or figurine. But this doll... Yeah, this but, doll actually signifies a... Uh, uh, fertility. Oh, okay. So these dolls were given to women who were unable to bear child. child. So uh, they carry it wherever they go yeah. just to have the faith that because I carry this I'm going to be able to have a child mm -hmm. and it works for them. Yes. Yeah, so I've just decided to put that in the hands of uh, yeah, the, I mean the little girl. Yeah. Just to signify fruitfulness. So this piece here, how long did it take you? It's finished. 
Ah, I should say. <laughs> <laughs> I still can work on it, but it's okay. finished. Yes. So how long do you think we'll make this piece here? Okay, so like I said, it was something I started in 2020 uh, during lockdown. Okay. And at that time, she was not having all these uh, apparel. She was having a different apparel. Okay. But when I heard about the Yika competition, I've decided to customize it and make gotcha. it, uh, yeah, to show the patriotism, uh, I mean, yeah. to my painting, that I am so representative of uh, Ghana. Okay. And I, I think I was the only representative from Africa. Africa? Oh, wow. Yes. Well, you said it was Italy, right? That was... You said it was in Italy, the competition? I, yeah, yeah, Italy. Oh, okay. yeah. So everybody else was Italian. Okay. Yeah, oh, I, okay. no, from around the world, oh, but I think I came from oh, Africa, okay. yes. Gotcha. Yes. Okay, okay. So let, let's go to this painting. Now, I'm curious on what this painting is about. <laughs> 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 Yeah, that's right. Just be careful. Yeah. All right. So, <laughs> I still can see it. Okay. All right. So, um, you ever heard the expression women's world? Correct. Yeah. Okay. So, I don't think there's any single person out there who understood women, not okay. even the women themselves. And whenever you see women. That's hard to say. <laughs> <laughs> That's and, hard. I, I, I don't know about that one. <laughs> Listen, you know there's always that one. <laughs> yes, and actually, most of my themes are on women or female figures. Okay. I believe that the world revolves around women. Okay. Yes, uh, so I normally depict women, especially when it comes to figures and all figures, that. Yeah. Yes, so um, when you look at this, there are three girls or three ladies in a chat. What actually are they talking about? Yeah. You have no idea. It could be that the lady in here, yeah. she's trying to reach out like a missionary. Trying to reach out? Yeah, okay. like, like a missionary. Yeah. And the lady on the left, when you look at her expression, the yeah. way she looks back at the lady in here, yeah. you say, ah, is that right? Like seriously? Yeah. You, you know, like she's had something for the first time. Okay. Yeah. Um, white, right? Yes, yeah. and the one in the white uh, must be buying into her idea. Yeah. Uh, or still, she's she's also expressing, yeah. I mean, that awe of what the lady has just said. Gotcha. But like I said, um, you cannot really understood. Correct. Really. Yeah. yeah. So it is women's world. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. And what's the reason? Like, because the child is in the middle. So is it? Because from a non painter's point of view, I would say that this one right here is trying to tell us something, right? And this one is not really understanding or not trying to agree. Okay. So I feel like it depends on how you look at it, it depends on who looks at it. Okay. You know what I'm saying? When I first saw it, I yes. feel like this one right here is trying to tell her something. Yes. That this one is not really agreeing. This okay. This expression on her face. Yeah, so uh, that is art for you. Yeah. What you see is not what I see. Correct. And uh, you'll be amazed that when you see the, I mean, the way you thought today yeah. regarding this painting, when you see it again tomorrow, you, see, you have another thought. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I'll just say that is the beauty okay. of art. Yeah. Do you get like different inspirations from like different things? Watch the TV. Like, what is like your main inspiration? It's women? Women. And nature. And nature. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, so, nature. Yeah. Women and kids. Okay. Yeah, I love depicting kids in my yeah. pictorials. Yeah yeah. 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 So let's go to this last painting here. All right. Let's grab okay. this one. So like a lot going on here. <laughs> a lot going on. Here. <laughs> <laughs> right. A lot going on in this one. <laughs> yeah. What do you see yourself? I, I don't want to okay. mask. I don't want to mask. He, uh, I mean, the kid. Yeah, okay, so, so what I see right now, they, they have like a disagreement, that's what I see right now. They have a disagreement. I'm not sure if these are her grandparents, okay. and that's the woman's daughter. Okay. But I'm not sure what the mother is trying to say to the child. She looks concerned. Okay. That's all I have so far. Yeah. So I'm not sure, like, yeah, you go ahead. Uh, I, I, I think you're right, you're not far from, <laughs> yeah. I mean, like I said, I mean, you, you see into painting yeah. the way 
I mean, you were up there, you, you, you were given. Correct. So, um, okay, so I named these Abita. Okay. Abita. Um, this man right here yeah. is an old man, but he possibly could be the husband of the woman okay. over there. And this could be their child. Yeah. And this child bears another child. So okay. that's grandpa over there. Correct. Uh, but it looks as though there's, like you said, there's some, a disagreement between yeah. uh, the lady in here and the mother. Yeah. And now the father has come in between them. Correct. It could be that this lady must have run from the husband's home. Mm. Hey, man. That's deep. Yes, that's deep. <laughs> so... The man is trying to reason with her. What are you doing here? You're supposed to be in your husband's home. Yeah. What are you doing here? And, and maybe, I mean, the woman over there, the mother, is, is actually siding with the, with the father. That, yes, that's exactly what I, yeah. I told her. I warned you several times, but still you won't listen. Yeah. I mean, yeah, so uh, it's a family affair. So when we, uh, as kids or yeah. as children, you it, you guys uh, no, it's okay, it's, it's okay, okay. it's okay. So when we, uh, I mean, yeah. uh, sometimes, sometimes we do not know what, I mean, what the gravity of what we did it, yeah. uh, is actually. But uh, it takes maybe a grown-up to be able to tell us what you did is wrong. Okay. You might think that you maybe you have having a tough time in your yeah. husband's home, but you have decided to marry him. Correct. Yes. So uh, the Bible says, so a man leaves yeah. the family and cleave on to the wife. And so that means you, the wife, too, must cleave on to your man. Mm. So um, whatever you're going through, yeah. uh, I mean, it could be tough, but you still need to be in your husband's home. And, gotcha. and, and there's a, <laughs> there's a short um, story yeah. uh, I'll share with you. So uh, there's this little sparrow while flying south for the winter, yeah. uh, froze solid and fell to the ground. Uh, but she actually fell where there's a barnyard. So, barnyard. yeah, okay. barnyard. So, a cow crapped on him. Okay. But because the manure was uh, warm, uh, there he was beginning to feel warmth again. And he okay. starts to sing because he's happy that he's yeah. alive again. Then a cat, hungry cat around, yeah. heard him singing. Uh, he came around, cleans the manure from him, yeah. and eats him. Mm. So, one would say, what's the moral of this story? Yeah. So, um, if you are warm and happy, but first of all, anyone who craps on you yeah. is not necessarily your enemy. And anyone who cleans crap off you is not necessarily your friend. Right. Mm. So, if you are warm mm. and you are happy, yeah. regardless of where you are, you need to keep your big mouth yeah, Shut. Sure. yeah. <laughs> so okay. um, maybe this lady's position is something another lady is craving for but she ain't getting it but this lady has it so mm. um, if you're a woman happy yeah. just keep your mouth shut yeah okay All right, so I'll put this right here. yeah right. yeah so these are some of my Paintings that I did out yeah. of imagination. imagination, yes, and I have others that I, I mean, did with pen. Where can you even look at these paintings? You have an Instagram, you have a, a website. You can sit, look in the camera and tell them like, where can you purchase these? Okay, so if you want to purchase them. <laughs> all right, yeah. so um, I actually have few, I mean, um, okay. pages. Uh, I have an Instagram page, uh, Walalom Johnson, but there's a hyphen between Walalom. Yeah, and Johnson, yeah, that's gonna be W O R L A L O R M. Yes. Uh, so yes, if it's going to be uh, on the screen for yeah right. for right. Uh, your viewers to actually get and it. That's, uh, that's Instagram. That's Instagram. Right. Instagram. I'm on Twitter. Uh, Walalom at Walalom. Uh, Facebook. Walalom Johnson. Okay. Yes. And right. LinkedIn. Walalom Johnson. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Well, those are interested. Make sure you show some support to this brother here, man. Um, yeah. Buy some paintings, man. It's, I will say about, one thing about following your passion, man, like you said, it's very hard. You know what I'm saying? It's very hard. It is. Not a lot of people see your vision. A lot, of, a lot of people will, like, back you up when it comes to you deciding to do that. Because, you know, some people say, oh, it doesn't make money. I won't support you. But I feel like if you 
put your time into something that you really enjoy, God's going to find a way to, you know what I'm saying, yeah. bring it back to you. In yeah. a way, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it, it's something you need to uh, decide on. Correct. I have decided. And you need also to be ready to forego a lot of things. Correct. Because uh, as I sit here, I, I lost a lot of things including relationships just because yeah. I've opted to become an artist and because things are tough yeah, um, yeah a lot of things I lost yeah. including relationships like I said gotcha. yes and let me just say that I even used to be married but not telling any longer okay. yes wow. yes so you can imagine yeah. so I gave myself 10 years okay yes okay. 100% Ghanaian. Listen, man, if y'all Ghanaian, you have to support this man. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, a lot of people are scared to take that leap to start something that they're really passionate about or like a, like a hobby that at first, it, I'm sorry, at first it was a hobby, I would say, and yeah. then like, you know, started really appreciating yeah. what you've been doing. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So when I started YouTube, I did it like two years ago, right? Just for fun. And then I started seeing, like, over time, people started appreciating the content I've been making, the love yeah. I've been getting. And I was like, man, I realized this is really all I want to do, you know? Outside of YouTube, I'm an accountant. Okay. I hate it. But it pays bills, you know what I'm okay. saying? <laughs> okay. I really hate to see yeah. people go all day, yeah. looking at numbers, yeah. more of life. Yeah. So I've always been the one that thinks outside the box. Like, That's right. My, my favorite word is, is, I would say, it's freedom. Okay. Having the time to do what you love to do. That's right. Not waking up for another man's job and things like that. So that's what I'm here today, you know. Hopefully I could build my channel off of this promotion, different African businesses, different African entrepreneurs. There's anyone who's trying to follow their passion. Okay. That's what I'm passionate about. Yes. You know what I'm saying? That's right. There's nobody really showed me or helped me when I came to like was starting YouTube, you know, I just learned for myself and I enjoyed it. Hopefully I could like motivate those who those who have a passion but they didn't really start yet mm. you know what i'm saying so yeah. meeting people like you and things like that there's people all over the world so yeah man thank you for giving me the time man giving me the time hopefully <laughs> this helps you you know going forward and um show some love to him man make sure that's you, right uh, follow him on instagram facebook twitter all that good stuff man that's you right anything to say to the viewers okay so um all i can say is uh maybe you started something that is going well for you, but uh, you still have it at the back of your mind that uh, it's not actually what you wanted. Mm -hmm. Feel free to change. Mm -hmm. uh, all you need to do is do that with God. I would say that when I started, I started with God, but not strongly, yeah. but now very strong. So whatever you plan to do, engage God and ask him before you start. Yeah. And when you try to opt out of one to get into another. Be ready that uh, you're going to climb high mountains. Yeah. I mean, places you've not been to before. Things you thought couldn't happen to you will be happening to you. But uh, be of good cheer. It is well. And God bless you as you take time to help a brother. All right, man. Those who've been watching the man, thank you guys. Appreciate you guys even giving the time. If you make it, if you made this far in the video, I appreciate all the love. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share this to a friend, family, foe, enemy, whoever you want to share it to. You know what I'm saying? All we appreciate is positive energy. And this is what breezy everything easy, sir, sir. Peace.